played by Danny Dyer, Kidnappered Stewart, Ricky Chan, in last night's edition of EastEnders and tonight was seen torturing him. He drove Stewart around while he was tied up in the boot of his car before taking him to an abandoned warehouse to torment him on the BBC soap. Stewart was tied up on the floor as Mick handled a crowbar menacingly. He said, this is for everything you've done to my family. The father of four threw the metal bar down on the floor before challenging Stewart to a fight. Meek began, let's make it a fair fight, prison rules. You know it's a beautiful thing prison, you get a lot of time to think. I've had a lot of time to plan where I'm going to put that filthy carcass of yours. Stewart stood up as Mick had cut the tie keeping his hands together, but he assured his old friend he didn't want to fight. This is you, this is you making me do this. This ain't me being evil this is pure Mick Carter, he raged. The kit I covered for, that I went to Boris still for, he's still there isn't he? Come on, give it to me, come on. Mick screamed at Stuart as he fell to the floor, he continued, get up, look at the state of you. Mick continued to taunt Stuart by suggesting he would be getting intimate with his daughter Zara, Faye Davini, if he did. Clearly as retaliation for Stuart growing closer to Linda, the landlord had his hand wrapped around Stuart's throat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I never touched her. Ask Linda. Let me go, Stuart pleaded. No, Meek replied defiantly. Meek was later seen back in the warehouse with the seemingly lifeless Stuart. Meek then walked away from the location alone, hinting that Stuart had met a horrible end. Meanwhile, Linda, Kelly Bright, was fretting in the Queen Vic about his whereabouts. Meek rocked up and shared a stern look with his wife without saying a word. Over at Dots, June Brown, house, Stuart also hadn't turned up for his dinner. Does this mean he's as out of the Carter's lives for good? Viewers will have to wait and see. East Hunters continues Monday at 8.30pm on BBC.